Oh, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. Um, I have been hearing a lot about game crashes and various other things going on, especially since the update that happened today. Um, so we're not even going to go into Dominations. Well, let's see. Can we do something here? No. Sometimes you can get to the app info by pressing down. Now, I am running... Android and I wanted to show you guys how to delete the cache and the data uh, What you want to do is if you didn't catch that we'll start again You swipe down from the top right hand corner you click on the little cog up in the top right Right beside your little profile circle you touch on applications now the Android OS actually varies in this uh, Sometimes it's along the top that you see that Sometimes the menus all change very depending on what flavor you're actually running. My device stats, I'm running Android 5.1.1. Um, so, mine's on the left hand side. I'm going to go ahead and find applications. I'm going to go in, into the application manager. And we're going to go and find dominations. Once you find Dominations, you can go ahead and force stop the application, of course, if you didn't uh, close it properly. I'm not going to follow through with this, but this is where you would delete your data and your clear cache. Why would you do this? Uh, according to the update, I would have to, I can only assume that there might be some cached information on your device that is causing you problem, problems. The clear data shouldn't have any bearing, but we know how buggy the game has been in the past. So as a result, uh, if I'm doing one, I usually do both. Now, uh, do be aware, however, if you clear the data, it will re-download all those packages. So if you're running this on mobile and not on Wi-Fi, I wouldn't suggest clearing the data. It's a fairly large uh, application. Once you have finished that, you can go ahead and simply launch the app the same as you normally would. Now the second thing I wanted to cover is what I have learned about logging into the game. So I can flip between my accounts. Let me just walk through that. Again, swipe from the top left hand side. Click on the cog, or touch the cog rather. Click on accounts and you want to go to Google. This is where you would add your accounts. So you can see that I have two, my primary being the CT8 ball, the secondary being T Calevra. So with those both established on there, if I go into Dominations, by default this is linked up with my primary account. If I say disconnected, and then I give it a couple of seconds and I say touch disconnected. It connects there, but it actually detects that I have two different addresses and I can choose between them without actually closing out of the game. So if I touch on this one, it should pull it up and say, you have got an existing account. Do you want to load it? I say, yes, I do. It reloads that game. And I'm very embarrassed to say that I haven't logged in here or played with this account for the duration of the day. That life stuff has been in the way. So, then, in order to get back to the other side, we are my traps. Can we upgrade that one? No. Can we upgrade that? No. Can we upgrade that? No. I'll have to come back in here afterwards. On the right-hand side, click on those little cogs. Click connected, changes to the word disconnected, give it a couple seconds, touch the word touch the word disconnected. It says dominations connecting to. It will prompt you again. Touch the other account that you want to load. It says we found an existing game for this Google Play account. Do you want to load it? And you say yes I do. So those are my recommendations and that's my tip. Um, if you do experience other problems, the one thing that I do like to have running in the background is uh, an application. Where is it? Let's swipe down here. 
Let's see if we can find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Advanced Task Manager, is that the one? No. That's probably Adware. No, that's not, that's not Adware. I've used that one in the past. Let's just fire through here. It is, oh, Advanced Task. Is this the one? Let's see. Notification. Oh, yes, this is it. This is the one. There's two different flavors. You, you'll see in the top left-hand corner, second from the edge, I've got a, a little green Android icon with the X on it. It's an auto-kill app, so it literally kills everything that's running in the background, including my cache. Um, so I can actually go in here and control when my cache is being deleted and how regularly it's killing those applications. So if you ever see something that pops up on the bottom of my screen, that is what it is. Um, it's the auto kill app, you know, making sure that I have enough memory and RAM, uh, enough memory and, and the cache is clean uh, and free in order for dominations to glitch out however it wants. C cleaner, that is a very good one. Uh, I do recommend C cleaner as well. By the way, that stands for crap cleaner, and it's available for your PC as well. Uh, and there you have it. Keep your sticks on the ice, and have a good time.